Right, this isn't an easy video to make. I'm making this video as a warning to others because I was warned myself and I didn't heed those warnings and now I deeply regret it. Um, you see, a few days ago, I wrote this tweet. Um, Happy Ramadan. Um, to, this was to re responding to a Muslim guy, by the way, who was talking about a, an iftar held at Wembley Stadium. Uh, happy Ramadan. I'm glad you are as able to celebrate Ramadan in England as you would be in a majority Muslim country. This land is your land too. I was then warned by multiple, uh, I assume, British people that Muslims wouldn't treat me kindly if they took over the country. They would throw you from a rooftop with no hesitation, says Roberto. This person wrote, what do you think will happen to weak, cowardly, treacherous males like you when shit hits the fan? You know that civil wars in Western countries are inevitable, right? I would really hate to be you in that situation. This person wrote, pussy, you realise that they, that when they take over, you won't be spared. They won't give you a high status position or thank you for being their friend. They, they view you as we do, a traitor and a gimp. No one respects people like you, especially Muslims. And I didn't listen. I was naive. I tried to see the best in people. And now I bitterly regret it because it didn't take the Muslims long. Um, they found out about these tweets and a pylon started. This terrifying Muslim message sent a cold shiver down my spine. You're a gem of a human being and we Muslims love and appreciate you. I'm an NHS doctor and I promise I'm too overworked and tired to try to take over anything. As you can imagine, I couldn't sleep after reading that. This next one contains some quite distressing language, so if there are children in the room, I suggest you tell them to block their ears, because this Muslim said, you have two billion people who will support you, mate, and you don't have to be Muslim because you are a decent human being. Absolutely shocking. Soon, the nasty and vindictive messages from Muslims were coming in so quickly, I could hardly keep up. Rahima said, we see you, we appreciate you, and we thank you. Now, we see you, I... I guess that means they're watching me or something. Uh, Asham Iqbal said, you are a great human being, mate. You are not wrong. We are all humans. I don't know what he means by that, but it made me feel unsafe in my own home. So as you can see, the Muslims turned out to be much more sinister and scary than I could ever have imagined. So I just want to say um, happy Eid to everyone celebrating over the next few days. Screw the haters and may the blessings of Allah fall upon all my wonderful Muslim brothers and sisters.